Hello everyone. Uh, we'll talk about today about uh, doubles. You will find this uh, subject on your textbook page number uh, 112. Uh, we will talk about doubles and you know that we explain lots of about doubles um, in second grade and on our Zoom meeting, our last Zoom meeting. So today we're going to talk about doubles. I just want to remind you with uh, doubles, what's the meaning of doubles? When you double any number, that means you repeat this number, the same number again two times. So you are adding, like if you have double one, you have one plus one, one times two. If you are doubling three, three plus three, three times two. So you can write it different ways. You have you can write it like a double four, the word double with number four equal four plus four or you can write it as four times two so since now on if you see it in different ways in different uh, uh, ways you can you can understand that this is the same idea or the same concept which is double which is repeating the same number again two times okay so the answers the answers you just repeat each number of them over here, if you repeat number two, double for one, it's two, double two, it's four, double three, it's six, double is six, twelve, double the eight is sixteen, and so on. So, you know all these from the second grade, you need to revise them very well. Remember that you, I think that you can, you can count on your fingers sometimes uh, up to like five, but when you exceed five, when you start with six, you have to just memorize them like six times two equal 12, seven times two equal 14, eight times two 16, nine times two equal 18, and 10 times two equal 20. So all these numbers, we call them, we call them multiple of two. What's the meaning of multiple of two? So the multiple of two are the answers if you multiply any number with two we call it multiple of two again i will repeat it it's very important what is the meaning of multiple of two yeah third grade you have to listen to me multiple of two when you are multiplying any number with two the answer it's going to be multiple of two. So if you multiply over here, you have like three times two, you have six. Six is a multiple of two because you multiply two with some other, other number. Now we have a new concept that you need to know that we call it factors and multiples. Okay, so the multiples, as you see here, the multiples are the answers. So the multiples are the answers. When you multiply number two with something, you call the answer a multiple of two. Okay, multiple of two. And these numbers, here four and two, we call it factors. Okay, we call it factors. You will see it with more exercises. But now, you have to understand that multiple of two. Remember, third grade, multiple of two is the answer. The answer when you multiply any number with two, okay? When you multiply any number with two, we call it multiple of two. What is the multiple of, uh, or what are the multiple of three? When you multiply any number with three, you call it multiple of three. What are the multiples of four? When you multiply any number with four, you have the answer, and we call all the answers multiple of four. Now here, multiple of two usually are when you are counting or skip counting by two. So multiple of two, you are skip counting. As you see here, the answers like you are skipping each time two because you are here repeating the one two times, repeating the, the two two times, repeating the two three times. So you each time you are adding more two. Okay, here you have three twos, only three twos. Here you have four twos, so you add two more. Okay, here you have four twos. Here you have five twos, so you are adding another two. So each time you are skip counting with the number you call, all these numbers we call it multiple of two. So this is very important thing. Now we want to look at the doubles. Look, look at the doubles and remember how did we do the doubles for the simple numbers? And how did we do the, the doubles for the biggest numbers, okay? I have here 12. I do 10 and 2. And then I double the 10. Then I double the 2. And I have a total of 24. Next, I have 31. 
I have 30 and I have 1. I double the 30. I double the 1. Then I add them all together to have a total of 62. Next, I have 36. Remember, I will double the 6 and double the 30. So double 30. I have 30 and 6. I double 30 and double the 6. Then when I add them all together, I will have a total of 72. Remember when I said that we start doubling from the ones place? If I want just to look at the number, double it, I need to look directly to the ones place. Start doubling from the ones place. Start doubling from the ones place because sometimes you exceed the number like over here. When you start with the six, you have 12. So you write two in the answer and you, you have to carry one on top, then double three and add the one in the top like we did in our Zoom meeting. Now 18, I have 10 and eight, double the 10, double the eight and all together a total of 36. So I have two ways to double the number. 36 and 18 and 12 and 31. Now remember why we are using this way. Miss, why you are using this way? We just know the multiples, yeah, miss, and we don't need to do this chart. I have to tell you sometimes that we know the multiples up to 10. Yani, when you have the, the times table, the multiplication, you have 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, until 10 times 2. But what if the number is very big? What if it's more than 10? How can I times 2? How can I know the answer for times 2? Like 32 times 2. How, how can I know that? It's very big. It's more than 10, right? So I have to use or remember that times 2 means double. Bravo alaikum. Just help me, please. So you have times 2 is a double. So when I need to find the times table for 2, more than 10, I just need to double it. Okay, so just find the doubles. Now look again, take a quick look and remember that multiple of two, multiple of two are all the answers. Skip counting by two. When you multiply number two with another number, which is one times two, two times two, three times two, and all the answers for them, six times two, 12, seven times two, 14, eight times two, 16, nine, nine times two, 18, and 10 times two equal 20. Remember that the multiple of two is we are skipping, skip counting by two. We are adding two each time. Now, remember that eight, it's a multiple of two and eight, it's a multiple of four. OK, because we can find it on the uh, times table for four, two. Now look at number two. We call it factor of eight and number four, it's a factor of eight. OK, so. You have here a new concept, a new idea, a new um, uh, word you need to, to learn. It's a factor and multiple because we're going to use these words a lot. You have to know, Miss, what's the meaning of factor? Factor are the numbers that you are multiplying with each other. Okay, factors are the numbers that, that you are multiplying with each other to get the answer. The answer is multiple of. Okay, so the answer is multiple of. So the answer is going to be the multiple for both number because, because actually you will find it on the times table for four and the times table of number two. Now look here, I want you to remember that the factors are the numbers that are multiplied together to get a given number. Like if we say factors of 12, I have one, two, one times 12 equal 12. 2 times 6 equal 12, 3 times 4 equal 12, and 4 times 3 equal 12, 6 times 2 equal 12, and 12 times 1 equal 12. So all these numbers, when I multiply it with another number, I will have a 12. Okay, so I call them all factors. Factors of 12. Because if you multiply this number with another number, you will have the answer for 12. Bravo, Alego. There will always be fewer factors. So the factors always, or you have to expect that in the numbers on the factors that are smaller than the number. Yani if I ask you what are the factors for of 2 or for 2, 12, all the factors should be fewer numbers than 12. 12 or fewer. 12 or fewer, okay? So if I'm talking about the factors, because you need to multiply it with something else, you have to repeat it specific number of times 
so you will get 12. So it should be the factors are two numbers that you multiply them together and they should be 12 or less or the number or less. How about the multiples? They are the numbers that you say when you skip count by given number. So they are the answer when you skip count each time you are adding one time, one more time. Like if I have 12 plus 12 equal 24 plus 12 equal 36 and so on. So there will always be more multiple because we are skip counting, adding each time starting from 12. So are we are increasing, getting bigger, okay, increasing, and we are skip counting with the same number. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 for the answer. And all the answers, I will call them multiples. So again, factors are the numbers that you are multiply them with each other, and multiples are the answer, okay, is the answer. Okay, let's take a look at the multiples of three. These are the multiples of the three. Multiples of three are six, nine, three, six, nine, 12, 15. This is a skip counting. We are adding three each time. So all the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, uh, and 30. Okay? Okay. Now I have here four times three is a factor of 12. These numbers are factors because we I multiply them with each other to get a 12, and the 12 is a multiple of for them both, okay? Okay, now look at this multiple. If I am asking you, what is the second multiple of three? Second multiple. Okay, this is the second multiple. The second multiple, or the word second multiple means... Second, that means two, okay? Second multiple of three, that means two times three. So the answer is going to be six. I'm asking you again, get ready. What is the four, fourth, fourth multiple of three? Directly, look at number four times three. Fourth multiple of three, it's a 12, okay? Get ready. What is the fifth multiple of three? So when you skip counting, skip counting, adding three each time, you are adding five. When you reach number five, the fifth step, when you multiply five times three, repeat it three ta five times. So you have the fifth multiple of three is 15. The seventh multiple of three is 21. The eighth multiple, so when I say the eighth multiple of three, that means eight times three. Nine times three is the ninth multiple of three. Two times three, it's the second multiple of three. Four times three is the fourth times, a uh, fourth uh, uh, multiple of three. Okay, so get ready for any question about these in different way. Now I want you to remember or memorize with me the multiple of 4 and 5. I will write them down for you. This is 4 times table. When I multiply 4 with another number, I will have the answer. All these are multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40 are multiples of 4. And I have here, if I want to, to ask you about the 6th, multiple of 4, you have to find 6 times 4, which is 24. If you are asking me about the 8th multiple of 4, so when you skip counting up to 8 skips, you have 8 times 4 equals 32, as you see here. If I'm asking you about um, like the ninth multiples of 9, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you about 4 times 9, which is 36, like you have over here. Now I have the five times table. I want you to take a deeper look at five times table and you have to notice something in the answers or on the multiples of, of five. Okay, look at these exercises over here. I have five times one, five times two, and so on. So you have the answers. You are skip counting by five. You have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, I want to ask you a question. What is the sixth Multiple of 5. Excellent, it's 30. What is the third multiple of 5? 
Excellent. It's five. What is the eighth multiple of five? It's 40. What is the ninth multiple of five? Excellent. It's 45. Bravo alaykum. Okay, so we will move now at the multiples of six and seven. I want you to take a look at times table, six times table, and seven times table. Please, you have to memorize these tables. I'm just, I just can read it to you now because if I'm, if I'm in the class, for sure I will help you memorize them uh, very well. But now I have just to read it for you. When I repeat the six, two times 12, six times three equal 18. You can see it's up to six times five. You know it because we have learned it in second grade. Six times five, 30. Six times four equal 24. But after that, you will start six times six equal 36. Okay, 6 times 7 equal 42, 6 times 8 equal 48, 6 times 9 equal 54, and 6 times 10 equal 60. You have here the 7 times table, starting from 0, 7 times 0 equals 0, 7 times 1 equals 7, times 2, 14, times 3, 21, times 4, 28, so times 5, you have it, 35. We already know up to here. Then you start with seven times six. You have you, you already see it on uh, time, six times table, okay? So it's 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70. All these are multiples of five, of seven, okay? So when you divide, when you divide these numbers on seven, you will have the answer without a remainder, okay? So no remainders if you, if you multiply. Sorry, if you divide the 21 on seven, you will have the answer three, okay? So no, no remainders. If you have uh, multiply 24 or divide 24 on four, you will have the answer six. If you divide 36 on six, you will have the answer six. If you divide 84 or 48 divided by eight, the answer is six. So no remainder. You will have exactly number, a full number without any fractions, okay? A full number with no remainder. So this is the multiples of six and seven. Here are the multiples of nine and eight. I will read the answers for you. Eight, 16, 24, 32. The fifth multiple of eight is 40. The, the sixth multiple of eight, it's 48. The seventh multiple of eight, it's 56. The eighth multiple of eight, it's 64. And 72 for the ninth multiple of eight. And you know that 8 times 10 equals 80. So all these are the multiples of 8. If you multiply them, if you divide them by 8, you will have a full answer with no remainders. So that's why we call it a multiple of 8, because you can find it on the times table of 8. And multiple of 9, all the numbers that you can find on the times table of 9, which are, skip counting by 9 again, times 1, 9, times 2, 18, times 3, 27, times 4, 36, times 5, equal 45, times 6, 54, times 7, 63, times 8, 72, times 9, 81, and times 10, equal 90. So all what I need you to do on your home, uh, as a homework, on your home, I need you to revise the multiples of 2, 3, 4, and 5. This are, these are the old ones, and I need you to practice more and memorize all the multiples of 6, 7, 8, and 9. Please do the practicing and revising. It's very important because we will start our uh, new lessons, and it depends a lot on this times table and all these multiples. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.